All right, can you give us your name and your occupation? Sure. Mark Kinderman, uh, executive producer, Orange Lion Productions, uh, television documentary producer. Uh, I've worked in television since uh, 1993. All right. So can you tell us what um, your position entails? Uh, pretty much everything that has to do with putting together a television show that's not actually, you know, doing the filming or doing the editing. Uh, you know, contacting everybody to round up the interviews. Uh, making sure you get all the video and audio that's going to be in the show in. Uh, picking the music, handling the budget, uh, all the organizational stuff that, that is involved with that. Uh, making sure the show, when it's done, gets in the hands of the people who need to run the show. Uh, I think that about sums it up. Okay. You know, I write the shows. Yeah. You know, uh, I'm trying to think of anything else. All, this, all the scripts come out of, you know, picking what sound bites from the interviews you do go in the shows. At least starts with me. Okay. Great. So can you talk about the education required? Okay. Um, I have a uh, broadcast journalism degree from Syracuse University, a uh, four-year college degree. Uh, I think you can do it without that. You know, it's, it's a little harder. I think it helps to have a college degree getting in the door, but if you can get in the door without it, uh, you're going to make your name by what you put on the air right. at that point. All right. So can you talk about your road to your current position? Mm -hmm. um, when I was in college, uh, I interned at the Fox affiliate in Washington, D.C. Uh, for a couple years. And then right out of college, uh, I started as a production assistant uh, at ESPN in the... Uh, fall of 93, and I was making $7.50 an hour watching, uh, you know, the L.A. Kings play the Vancouver Canucks at 1 o'clock in the morning and coming into an edit room and telling the editor what highlights to put together for a 25-second highlight package that mm -hmm. ran on the, the 2 a.m. sports center, you know, and you kind of work your way up from there. You cut longer highlights, and then you start getting into you know, a little bit of in-house features, writing kind of longer form stuff, you know, three, four minute little packages. And uh, by the time I got out of Bristol, uh, where ESPN is based, Bristol, Connecticut, I wor started working on the 50 Greatest Athlete Countdown, uh, Sports Century. This was uh, 1998, we really started production for that, and that was down on the Connecticut coast in Westport. And those were half-hour shows, uh, counting down the 50 greatest athletes of the, the 20th century. And I got to produce three of those, and I was an associate producer on a, another six of them. And uh, at the end of 1999, they said I could come back to Bristol and continue being an associate producer and cut things on Sports Center, Or maybe if you left and went out on your own, you might get some longer shows that we can't do here ourselves. So uh, myself and uh, another uh, producer in that same boat, uh, we formed Orange Lion Productions. I went to Syracuse, he went to Penn State. There's the orange and the lion. And uh, from there we did uh, Sports Century uh, or hour documentaries that aired on ESPN Classic. We've done things for A&E, for what is now the NBC Sports Network, CBS, and uh, currently uh, we've done a bunch for the uh, for Big Ten Network. We've uh, done 18 hours now by, uh, by the time we get to the fall of Big Ten Elite. And uh, we've done another series last year for Ever Big, kind of a where are they now kind of thing of players. So. All right. Cool. Now can you talk about the type of person best suited for the position that you have? Uh, somebody who's organized. That is almost more than half the battle. Uh, you know, having a plan of how you're going to get people to be interviewed, what you're going to ask them, how that's going to fit into a show, uh, knowing what you need to cover the things you're going to talk about. Uh, the planning and, and figuring that out is, is the number one thing. Uh, people skills are important. 
you know, you're going to be dealing with, you know, a lot of different people and, and asking them a lot of different questions, much like we're doing here. And uh, if you have that, that's going to go a long way. Those are probably the, the top two things. You know, it helps to, to be, you know, a little bit creative, you know, in, in storytelling and what music what things, have a good ear, a good eye. But, you know, sometimes those are third and fourth. And if you can be organized and you can be personable, those will get you a long way. That's good. Um, what about um, what makes this career fun, interesting, or exciting, or all of the above? You know, I think it's the different people you get to talk to. And I mean, I've been lucky in that, you know, people like Jim Brown and Drew Brees and, and you know, name people, you know, Keith Richards from the Rolling Stones, and you know I've been I've been lucky to do stuff like that. But it's the stories you don't expect that, that are the ones that, that kind of come to mind to me. And uh, everybody's got some kind of story to tell. Everybody's got some kind of interesting story, and and finding that story and getting them to tell maybe that maybe they're only in a, a an hour show once or twice for 10, 20 seconds, but getting that good 10, 20 seconds out of somebody. That's, uh, that's what makes it fun for me. And then getting back in the edit room and kind of putting this jigsaw puzzle together yeah. is, uh, you know, is fun. All right. So what advice would you give to a young person seeking to do what you do? Get lines on the resume on the board. Intern wherever you can. Get your foot in the door. Do not worry about getting paid for it, you know, because... The chances of that happening, especially in the economy, the way it's going now, well, get your foot in the door and make a name for yourself, and that's where it'll start. Okay. All right. Thank you. You're welcome.